Welcome to another fabulous episode of Media Strikes Back. I'm sitting on the couch here with Maritza. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. Hope you guys had a great week. Did you have a good week, Maritza? A great week, Steph. Thank you. you. Thanks for asking. Where did you get up to? Oh, I've just been busy with my label, Rock Mama. Mm-hmm. There's a bit of plug. <laughs> no, yeah, I've just been busy at home with doing that. Nice. And, um, Working for the lovely Media Strikes Back, doing some interviews, which we'll see later up in the season. So, yes, yeah. and we've, we've got a really interesting one. The first one is the Pacific Bells. Mm, Pacific know. Bells, is that I'm how you say I'm actually really interested to see this one. So well, I they're like a 40s, like 40s war kind of singing, yeah. a, you know, a cappella mm. group. Mm-hmm. Not we'll really a cappella, they do use music, yep. but um, they, yeah, they sing like, like, Back in the day when they were at war. Yeah, so I love it. And we've really also got DJ Jane Daffy, I hear, that you interviewed. Yes, yes, she mm-hmm. is a awesome DJ okay, and she I'm plays excited. all my favourite songs. I love female DJs, I, I get love very excited about <laughs> Oh, do you? Okay, <laughs> me too. 40. Me too. And uh, finally, uh, the fashion show, the AA fashion show, mm-hmm. some of the um, fashion students that we've got showcasing some of their stuff. So that's going to be a nice little thing to see as well it is definitely well first up we'll go to the pacific bells jd got to interview these these lovely trio ladies and and um yeah see a little bit what what they're about don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me anyone else but me Anyone else but me, no, 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 don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me, till I come marching home. I just got word from the guy who heard from the guy next door to me. The girl he met just loves to pet and it fits you to a T. So don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me, till I come marching home. Till I come marching home. Hey guys, here I am with the Pacific Bell. So I have Betty, Dot and Mabel with me. How are we? Great, thank you. That's the way. (laughs) Now, tell the guys at home what it is that the Pacific Bells are. We're a 1940s singing trio inspired by the Andrews Sisters. So we sing in three-part harmony, all your old favourites like Boogie Woogie and Don't Sit Under the Apple Tree. Yes, don't sit under that apple tree. <laughs> but, um, of course, the Pacific Bells is another... The Pacific Beauties, isn't it? It um, basically rings true from the 1940s, which well, is what yeah. you guys are all that's about. That's it. Bell, beauty, glamorous. <laughs> glamorous, yeah, that's yeah. Us, yeah. And, and you've also got the, the accent down pat as well. Is that natural or is that is that put on? Well, we're both from England, so we've both got English yeah. accents. But we've got I've, one I've got the Australian, Australian accent, so... <laughs> Does yep. the British accent ever rub off on you? It does. But I think the Australian accent rubs off on these guys. They do a pretty good impersonation of me. We do, times. don't we, do <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. look out. But, yeah, pretty much. We, we enjoy each other's company and mm. accents. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, tell us how, do you, how did you actually come about? Where did the idea stem from? Um, well, I auditioned for the girls and I found these two lovely ladies. Okay. It was an idea that I'd wanted to start up a group. Um, right. So, yeah, I just put it out there and being in Australia, I just thought, let's do it and be the Pacific Bells. <laughs> Great. And, and did the names play a part? Because the names are very much a 1940s um, part of it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we all wanted characters, like the Andrew sisters. Um, we all said, like, it's better to get into character when we go and perform and mm-hmm. it does help, doesn't it? Yeah. It really yeah. does. It gets us into the zone, into the era. It makes us more part of the music. And we can enjoy it as well as the crowd, the audience, whoever's listening to. Great. So it's, it's really, uh, it's part of a process for you guys as well. So tell us about the process. So there's obviously the clothes and, and the hair as well. Oh, yes. yes. Do you like our hair? I love your hair. <laughs> Cur- curls is the, is the best thing, I think. It's really in at the moment, have. actually. Yeah, you're seeing it a lot around in Melbourne. We're starting a trend, obviously. Yeah, the vintage vibe is really big here, so everyone seems to love our outfits. They love mm. our hair, the red lips. Red lips. Yeah. yeah. So, so tell the guys at home what's what's next for you guys, because obviously we're here in the studio, so you're obviously recording. So, what's happening next for the Pacific Bells? 
Oh, well, we're making an album at the moment, which we're going to have out there on iTunes for you to buy. Mm -hmm. um, we're performing at Paris Cat. We're performing at Burlesque Bar. Right. We are doing the steam train. Yeah, yeah steam got, train. Yeah. Is that, uh, Sheraton Tours. Um, I'm not sure of the name, actually. I think it might <laughs> be. Over in Sheraton Tours. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so we're getting hired for all sorts of exciting things now. And um, we did the Anzac Day event. Um, at the, we sang live at the Shrine of Remembrance wow, for uh, ABC 774. <laughs> so, yeah, we did that. And uh, we've also sung with the Pearly Shell Swing Band. Wow. We've been so doing a lot. It's, it's all been no. happening. Yeah, been busy. Mm. How long have you guys been together as, as the... Long. It's pretty fresh. We started up, I think these ladies started up. December, November, 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 December, and then I joined the team in around February and just went from there. Right, and it's, I mean, it's really taking off, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. We've been easy. on the cover of MX. Oh, look <laughs> when, when you've made the cover of MX, you've, you've made, made Melbourne. Melbourne. <laughs> I like it. So, guys, you need to check out a little bit more about the Pacific Bells. Uh, get onto them because they're going to be huge. And, I mean, you started in December, so uh, look out. Big things coming for the guys. <laughs> Are they, Steph? They are so awesome. They're and so different. They look great. And and I know you're a singer. Yes, do you, I am. What do you wear when you do? Do you wear costumes or do you? How do you dress? Um, I just uh, look. I I just try and find the you know probably opposite to them. I, uh, I find the most sparkliest thing I can find, <laughs> and I'll bling, just wear bling. that. Yeah, yeah. Just give me some glitter, and I'll just pour it all over myself. And, yeah, well, they've done. That's cool. Yeah, I, I like that. I mean, they definitely look. Like they stand out because it's something different and amazing. And, and as as the bling with you, I'm sure you stand out, look amazing <laughs> as well. Well, you got to. And these guys are definitely doing something extremely unique. But yeah. but what about yourself? Do you like that 40s fashion? It's beautiful. I think isn't it's it? really mm -hmm. elegant. I think it's gorgeous. And a, a lot of like olden day fashion is coming back. And like we saw in in previous episodes, you know, the whole boardwalk empire thing for the mm -hmm. guys, hairstyles and things like that. It's all coming back. So I mean, fashion and and style. It's all just circulates and comes back in circles. So this is the 40s turn, I suppose. It's definitely. And 40s is definitely one of the most elegant. And I, yeah, I absolutely love a lot of the fashion that's coming yeah. out. It's for gorgeous. That. So, yeah. but yes, we will cut to a break though. And we'll be back with DJ Jane Daffy. Welcome back from the break. Now, uh, we've got next is DJ Jane Daffy, who Steph interviewed yes. recently. Yes. How was that, Steph? I'm really looking forward to seeing her. She's awesome. Mm. And she plays all of my favourite songs. Like, she plays the Top 40, which is definitely, mm -hmm. you know, the most commercial stuff. She puts her own, like, little spin to it. And she's been DJing for so long. So, she just does a great job. And she, she like, gets the crowd going. And it's not only, like, a, a set. It's yep. it's a performance. So okay. And a little hot. Are here? She is. She's gorgeous, <laughs> and um, yeah, we we kind of like looked a little bit alike when, oh, we, were, really? when we were talking. Yeah. Everyone's like, no, nah, but no, nah, we got along so well. So oh, yeah, it was, cool. it was awesome. Well, it was let's awesome to without here. further ado, let's go and check her out. Yeah. What's the deal with tonight? What are you playing? What are you mixing up? Uh, I think tonight I'm gonna do a bit of big room house and a little bit of R&B vocals and just kind of mix it up, see what the crowd's like. Mm -hmm. Go from there. Is that how you kind of depict what you play? Like, do you plan what you play, or do you kind of go with the vibe of the crowd? I think it's always really important to go with the vibe of the crowd. Um, you can plan to a certain extent, but really, every crowd's different. So you've really kind of got to watch the crowd and watch it and build it the whole night. So it's really important to be prepared on a large scale, I guess. Have all different types of. Things. So what do you do in your set that kind of like, what do you do to kind of get the crowd going? What's your, your um, signature thing? Ooh, what's my signature trademark? I think for me, it's all about the energy that I have. I think that's really important because a crowd will pick up on the DJ's energy. So if you're really excited and you're having a great time, um, the crowd will pick up on that, literally. So um, I'm always jumping around and talking to the crowd and giving them lots of feedback. And nice. um, that's important, yes. Cool. So what's your favourite kind of music you like to play in a set? Um, I definitely have to say uh, Commercial House. Um, 
it's good to dance to, it's good to get the crowd kind of pumped up. Um, but then also I kind of do some really relaxing gigs on Sundays as well, kind of some beach bar gigs and all different mm -hmm. types of gigs. So those I kind of do a more deep house, chill out kind of set. So I'm pretty versatile like that. Um, it just depends on the gig, but I'd say probably big main room gigs to mm -hmm. thousand people or more is my favorite. And um, what do you do to like pump yourself up for these gigs? <laughs> um, wow, that's a good question. I guess I'm, I've been DJing a long time now, so um, I guess before a gig, I kind of just take five or ten minutes. Um, I'm usually really prepared with my music, so um, I listen to tunes before I go on, and that kind of pumps me up. And then I'm in the mood, and then I just go out, and sometimes a little shop as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And with with all like you do so many gigs and you do so much stuff, what do you do in your downtime? I'm really nerdy. I, <laughs> I spend so much time in clubs, I guess. I'm obsessed with like television series and Walking Dead and HBO or anything basically. Is that your um, favourite one at the moment? Walking Dead? Yeah, it is actually. Okay. <laughs> um, when I've got time, I hang around in my PJs, I hang out with my boyfriend, I hang out with my family. Um, all the nerdy kind of stuff, pretty cool yeah, stuff that I guess I kind of used to take for granted and then when you're out and about so much working and always kind of in the spotlight um it's so nice to do those things that are really relaxing yeah absolutely and keep it balancing yourself absolutely yeah Perfect. well thank you so much for talk talking to us and good luck with the set tonight thank you you'll have to come on and sing with me I will. <laughs> <laughs> so thank just you. before that i'll just so how do you find the melbourne dj scene has come along especially for females there has been a big, big change in the scene the last five years. I've been DJing about seven years now in clubs. Um, and for me, I think it's a really good change because female DJs have really come through. Five years ago, it was a really male-dominated industry um, and girls didn't really get a chance so much and you really had to push and kind of beg for gigs and, you know, just really be kind of firm. But um, I think now girls are actually at the top of the ladder, you know, yeah. and they're respected. Mm -hmm. So in Australia, I'd say some of the biggest DJs at the moment are females, and I think that's great. I think it's really kind of changed times and shows that we're progressing and it's modern. That's awesome to hear. Yeah. Oh, you're right, Steph. She is a little hottie. She's amazing. She is yeah. just awesome. Yeah. I, I, it's. It's like a revolution that's going on with the whole mm, female DJ thing. Cause definitely. It, you should just always be guys. I know. So Why do I, they get all the good gigs? Nah, now, Not it's, anymore. now it's the girls, <laughs> yeah. right? And we're learning how to DJ. I, I know how to DJ myself. So. I, I've got to tell you, DJ Havana Brown, she's my girl crush. Oh, really? She's, um, I, went, I went to see someone else in concert and she was the, what's it, what's it called? When like the feature? Correct, yeah. yeah. Yep, she yep. was a show before. And um, I was just hypnotised by her. She's just so energetic and bubbly. Mm. And, and, yeah, I think Jane's got the same thing, you know, happening with her. Definitely. Because yeah. it's, it's more about the performance now. And DJs, mm. like, they have their own agents. That's and, right. like, they, they produce. And, and it's mm. it's definitely the way to go. So it's it, – DJs are the new bands you know, I mm. mean, I mean, bands are great, yep. uh, but DJs are the ones that are producing all the commercial tracks and, right. and getting on the top charts, and and that's and mm. that's business for you. And still a lot of talent involved in DJing. So. Absolutely, there yeah. definitely is. Yeah. So okay, but yeah, we're gonna cross to another ad break, but we'll see you guys after the break. Guys, now to our final segment, we are getting into all things fashion. Yes, <laughs> yes. We went to the AA fashion show. Mm -hmm. So for yep. students, I think that's a really great idea because, you know, creative careers are hard to really get yourself forward in. Yeah. And if anything's out there to showcase these young people and these new talent, why not? Exactly, and yeah. and a lot of things is especially with students. It's not all about um, it's not all about your knowledge these days. Mm. It's a lot about experience. And exactly, that's just, that's just how it is. Unfortunately, people are going to look at you more for what you've done rather, rather than, than rather than you know what's how much written on a piece how many of paper. numbers yeah you can write on on yeah. a jot of paper. So. Yeah, so there's yeah. yeah a lot of talented little people out there, and um, they showcase things like from all different genres in yeah. fashion. So. That's 
That's really so, good. Yeah, I'm really excited to see this one because these guys are all new and they're fresh and they're excited mm. and, and, they're, and they're ready to go. So, And I'm ready to see this segment. Me too. So let's, let's go. Let's go to that. <laughs> well, I'm here with someone who's titled as being a secretary and secretaries come in many forms. And I'm really curious to see what, what is your secretary job all about? Well, as a typical secretary, obviously I do all the paperwork, but besides that, it's very much an executive role. So it means leading the committee and making a lot of decisions for our direction, for our club. I'm here with Kim, who I thought designed shoes, but she does a whole heap of other things. So, like, narrow it down for us. Well, basically I studied a footwear course for a whole year, um, but because I don't have the machines and all to do to make shoes. So during my spare time I like to design accessories, leather goods, which is kind of related to shoes. That way I can like improve my skills and hopefully, you know, save up money and go to London and hopefully work my way through making more shoes over there. Hi Sue. Hi. Sue is an extraordinary person over here because she's not studying fashion, unlike mo most of the designers uh, that, that are here showcasing today. You're actually studying science or something? Yeah, the art of the nerd. So, two worlds, completely different. But it doesn't mean that you, you know, you don't have the creativity. In fact, I think it's quite inspirational, the fact that, you know, you're, you're going on a limb and kind of like venturing out. <laughs> it doesn't work. Hello. So, so what do we all think of my new look? Is this going to catch on? I don't know. What do you reckon? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah? Like it? I got a small he head, so hats never really suit me. So I got Andrew from Candy Floss, who's also showcasing his awesome collection today. Wearing this, I feel like I have to do more like hand motions or something. I never present like this usually. You, you've like, has this got like something in it, like that, that that makes people just come alive? What's your secret? What's your secret? Personality's coming out more. That's probably what it is. With the fashion show tonight, you've had to organise. What's what's the most difficult thing that you think you've had to organize today? Definitely the runway, the actual um, timetabling of how all our girls and all our boys are going to walk out because it's actually so difficult trying to time it so that everyone comes out on time. So. Did you get a chance for a full dress rehearsal? We did. We did a dress rehearsal just before this. I'm not sure if uh, some people saw it. We ran a little bit over time, but it worked out in the end. That just takes forever. It's so impressive that you got that done because I'm sure the girls, the models, the guys, they've been getting ready since what time today? Oh, uh, they've been here since 12 p.m. today. Oh. I've been here earlier, since 9. So it's been a hectic day for all of us. Yeah. So by leather goods, like we're talking accessories like bags? Um, something more different, collars, you don't really, yeah, that sort of thing, yeah, just like by itself, but you don't really see many people wearing that, so I thought that's kind of different. I always like to design something that's a little more out there, a little more different, um, as well as cuffs as well, um, so yeah. So how long have you been doing that for? Um, so ever since I finished studying, I've been doing it for two years already. Two years? So when did you, when do you think you developed this creative bone? Um, probably, I think I've always been pretty like creative, like ever since I was young, but fashion really came maybe in high school. And yeah, you know, I've loved it and it's a really good like creative outlet. So yeah, it's just what I do, I guess. I try to go original, try to do my own thing. Um, don't want to copy anyone else's stuff. Don't want to be a biter, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you think it's hard to like come up with something original? Yeah, it takes a while, but once you start rolling, you just keep going and going and going. So. And are you still studying or have you finished your course? No, nah, nothing. No course? Yeah. I love that. That's so inspiring that, you know, you just like, bang, creativity, imagination. I'm going to put some, you know, some of this into practice. And tonight you're going to be showcasing a couple of pieces from your range. Yeah. Right, and you also mentioned, so obviously shoes yeah. is going to be a big one for you coming up. Yeah. And I imagine it's going to be a pretty out there kind of yeah, range. In the future though, in the future though, yeah. yeah. Are we talking like feathers or? Feathers, studs, uh, stilettos, sky high shoes, um, yeah. 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 So you do beautiful gowns and formal wear, is that right? I do mostly formal wear. I do um, a lot of beading. I don't know, I feel like it should be very romantic, you know, long, flowy, things like that. 
what what got you into this? Like, were you just at school one day or at a ball and go, I love that, I love that, I'm gonna do something. How did you get the inspiration to just come up with that? Well, I don't know, inspiration really comes from everywhere, I guess. But for like, to get into fashion, I think it would probably just, I guess my first formal, I was like, I don't really like any of the dresses out there, so I'm gonna make my own. This whole thing started in 2007, the whole idea of it. And I never got around to it until this year, so it's only been a few months that I've got everything out. All my hats, shirts, beanies, everything, all my stock, so... And like, there's so much more involved than just, you know, creating the pieces, designing them. I mean, what about the production of them and, you know, the logistics and then the sales and marketing part? Like, what's been, I guess, two things. What's been like the hardest thing in these past few months for you and the most exciting part? The hardest thing is doing everything myself. Doing everything myself. Um, but like, you know, like just trying to organize my designers, um, the people that make my stuff and, you know, it's just everywhere, everything's everywhere, but I, it, everything will start rolling. Everything will start rolling once, once everything's all set up. And the exciting part? Um, just, the best thing about this is that Doing a show like this for the fashion show, it shows that it pays off. If you just work hard and just focus on what you want to do and follow your dreams and stuff, you know. And Rachel, what are you looking forward to the most tonight? When it's all over. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone out on the runway. So it should be good. And see all your hard work come in, into it. Is this the first show that you've organized? Yes, this is the first show that I've ever done by myself. We used to have this show annually. Um, our club used to organise it annually, but last year, unfortunately, we reorganised our timetable for the uni calendar, so we weren't able to do it. But, yeah. And I heard that you actually haven't run this for about eight years or so, is that right? It's from our club or myself? Yeah. No, it's been a bit less than that, maybe five years, so yeah. three years. I think it's very entertaining. We should have runways every year. I think so. It's so much work. I don't know if I could do it again. Well, you've done an amazing job so far, so we can't wait to finally see what's going to happen tonight. Thanks, Yana. That was excellent. I uh, really enjoyed that. There's so many up-and-comers out there. Absolutely. You know what? With fashion, I'm a little bit obsessed at the moment with <laughs> – so I'm a little bit obsessed with leopard skin, and I know you're wearing it right now, so I might even – <laughs> I might even steal your Please jacket up you like. But if I if I could go out there just for one crazy day and wear leopard from head to toe, I reckon that would be hilarious. That would be awesome. Yeah, I do. What about you? What what would um, you want to do crazy? Um I I really I don't know actually. I, look, maybe you want to do the the Kim Kardashian floral um head to toe oh, including her fingers. Yeah. Did you did you see that? Yes, piece? that would be mm. cool. I mean, I love Kim Kardashian anyway. So, yeah, I think that would be she, yeah, quite she, she actually looked like a couch that time. She did. She did. I used to have a couch that was floral. <laughs> yeah, and, and it was exactly like well, that Well, there dress. you go, Steph. Maybe you can make a dress out of that. <laughs> I could. I don't know where this couch is, but I'll try to find it. Excellent. I'll, I'll probably, like, cut my arms off or something because, yep. you know, I can't do – I'm very unco. Yeah, and um, we're going to go out there and I'm going to be leopard from head to toe and you're going to be floral from head to toe. <laughs> I'm going to look great. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. thank you for joining us today. Uh, check out our website, mediastrikes.com. Yes. And Facebook. also check us out on Facebook. And Twitter. Of course. And Instagram. We're everywhere, guys. Yes, we are very social, Steph. Mm -hmm. And make sure you check out our Facebook page, importantly, because we are turning one here at Media Strikes Back and we're putting on a huge event in fashion. So if you're on the Facebook page, you'll get all the details coming straight to you and you can get involved. You can come down and join us and we'd love to see you there. So stay tuned next week for another big episode of Media Strikes Back. See you then. Bye. Bye.